This is massive. Now, massive weekend. I think we're going to debrief a lot of stuff, guys, because a lot happened. But the biggest thing that I've walked into is what we've got right here. And you've been texturing clubs now. And Port have sent in their retro Guernsey, the real OG one where they did some damage back in the day. How good's that? It is so sexy. Umbl- now, the teal is a bit darker than what I thought. Yeah. I think back in the day it was a bit lighter, but I don't mind it being a bit darker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the clubs text you, Ollie. This yeah, is your baby. I didn't text them. They texted me. They said, g'day, texter. Yeah. And I went, look, what a bizarre full circle moment. Amazing. Well, all that texturing has come in handy. And they sent us this cool Port Adelaide car with Chad Corns, the better yes, corns, some the- say. To Dan Ollie, the lids are well and truly off with this Guernsey. True. Enjoy, boys. Love the pod, the Port Adelaide Football Club team. Unreal. Thank you so much, Port. And then they said, what number do you want on the back? Yes. So, so what, what did you, you go? I will. Well, I went Connor. Duh. Big Rosie. Duh. Yeah. Like, Love that. You know. So I don't think anyone would pick this. Maybe. I went number five, Dan Houston. <laughs> yeah, no. Now, story behind it. My yeah, best man. mate's sister, Steph, dates Dan Houston. Don't know if that's public knowledge, if I should announce yeah. that. <laughs> but bugger, it, let it fly. So I'm a bit, I'm on Dan Houston oh, yeah. big time. So we're going to wear that. We're going to try and get to a game. Yep. Let's pray they make a final. Oh, I reckon they will, won't they? And then we'll get there. We'll be the, in the crowd with scarves yeah. overhead, never tear us apart. Yeah, and I just want to say, look, Adelaide Crows, you had your chance. You had your chance to win me over. True. But uh, uh, mate, you have a lot of people have messaged you about Adelaide. They're glad you're off them. They're with you. Good. There is one thing on the inside of the Guernsey I do want to preface. Yeah. So it's very cool here. On the inside of the Guernsey, they have Paul Aide premierships and it goes through from, they've counted the Magpies ones. Yep. Yeah. So 1884 was their first one and then 2004, obviously the last. Yep. Then under that, they have Champions of Australia, 1890, 1910, 1913, 1914. Now I question 1913 <laughs> and 14. We were a bit busy then. <laughs> bit on. So what were we champions of? And not knocking it, just want to know. Yeah. What, do you have any idea what that could be? No, I've got literally no idea. It, it's... It's very, um, you know, rated best pie in Australia. Yeah, true. Kind of, yeah, you know, like every what, country town. Like a what? Yeah. You so know, how do we hang it? it? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we'll ask him what that means. Yeah, like we can get back to you for Thursday. Let's put it in the ballroom here. I put it up. The real mad pies. <laughs> Actually, disrespectful with that. I'll yeah. Never, sorry about that. I would never ever throw that out of disrespect. You know what we don't have? We don't have the fucking Carlton one. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah, the blues. We've got Frio. Neither blues look Westcos. after us. Send us a couple in. But thank you so much, yeah. Quad Lane. We thank love you. Port. Hey guys, welcome to the Dan Does Footy Podcast. You can find more of Dan Does Footy on the website, Spotify, YouTube, and social media. Lids off. See ya. I was like, where are they? Kick him harder. Kick him all harder. Punch him in the face. I'm not a bloody horizontally charged, if you get what I mean. Bono. Oh, tough crowd today. <laughs> Should we say this is the line? If you don't hear the next bit, it's over the line. Okay, so if you don't hear the next bit, I've got a line. Who's just walked past Pun Road? It dips in. Hey, mate, massive week. Thank you for listening again, wherever you're listening and however you're listening. We're just glad that you are. A huge week in football. Um, so much to go through. Yesterday was just wild. Mm-hmm. Absolutely wild. Sitting there, I think everyone was shocked what was happening at Marvel. I was at lunch and I looked at the app and I said, okay, there's a glitch in the system here. It's mm. like when the tracker, the tells tracker, tells your players doing 150 kilometers an yeah. hour. I was like, there's no <laughs> way that they're up by 50 points. Sure enough, they were. We'll get into it in a minute, but mate, how are you? Mate, I'm great. I've had a great weekend. You had had a great weekend. You look good. You sound good. You're not Thank sick. You. And you're also now the face of sports bet. It's true. It's Tell happening. Us. Tell us your new commercial agreement. <laughs> I'm on the feed. Yeah, he's on the feed, guys. And first bet, first win. That's all I'm saying. Wow, so now follow you on the feed, you reckon? Yeah, I'll beat time. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. And it's you're doing strictly Euros or what are you doing? Strictly Euros for the moment. Okay. And then we might have a look at things sort of over, you know, once the Euros is over. But first game, it was Germany versus Scotland straight away. Nine. Uh, no, yeah. yeah. It was yeah, actually. Oh, they won. Yeah. 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 What time's the Euros on? I'm not, I'm not a soccer but what so, time? I know a lot of people are. <clears throat> yeah, so we've got an 11 o'clock. A oh, late. T- yeah, 2 a.m. and a 5 a.m. Oh, what are you getting up for, the fivers? Uh, I watched the 11 and the 5 and then highlights of the 2 o'clock. So I, got, I was up this morning for England-Serbia. Heavy shifts. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then napping in the day? 
to get through. Well, I've got to do this shit, don't I? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have dragged you in here today, yeah. later than usual as well. Yeah. So I actually cut off probably your nap time right yeah, now. Yeah, totally. Yeah, fuck. Um, but that's good. Um, no, so that went really well. So I'm loving what, what's going on on Sportsbet. So definitely yes. you can now get us get on us both. On hey, the you are the face of the company is what they're saying over there. It's just and they're all getting around you. We know you had the sports bet incident when they laughed at you a couple yeah. weeks back, but now I think they actually respect you a little they bit. They get it. They which get is it. good. Well, well done. So we can follow you on the feed all, all across the Euros. You've been oh, bets. absolutely. I'll be there, baby. Okay. And you had a win already. Yep. Yeah. Look, we were on the feed as well. I'm, uh, we're still, look, we're still trying to hardest in the feed. Mm-hmm. We're just having these ones at the moment, back to me now, where <laughs> we're just, we're just missing out by one disposal here and there sure. or a goal here and there. Toby kicked one six. Yeah. Glad he got the one we had him, but we're having those kind of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will bounce back. So keep following us, guys. Get on sports get in the feed, and follow us both now. Yeah, absolutely. There. And I will say the, the pressure. You know, when I when I set my account up, I went. Yeah. Ob- you know, obviously I've joined the feed before, but you know to follow you. But I, I you know, set the profile up. Fo- you, the first person I followed. Thank you. Had a look at your last ten <laughs> resulted, and all of a sudden, all the nerves. <laughs> Left yeah. my body and went, cool, pressure's You're off. good. You're good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Mate, up? that's what it's all about. It's all about having a crack on there and that's Absolutely. what we do. So your time will come. You'll feel what I feel at the moment, mm, the pressure, maybe. but I welcome it. I'm a sponge to the pressure. That's true. We need to get into this straight away because people loved it. The hotline. Oh. Now, hold on. Are you going to put the sting in post? Because I don't have the sting on me. I'll, I'll Can you put, do that? Okay, great. The... Okay, well, actually, before we play the sting, play this from Harry. He's got something to say. I just wanted to listen to the music because it's pretty good. Play the sting. Amazing. People love that sting. People said it wasn't long enough. Well, it goes for longer, but we just didn't know how long to play. I There's guess. a massive guitar solo in it yeah. as well. So <laughs> it's, it is long. We love it. People said they were making love to it. Their yeah. wives heard it and like, okay, you just got sexier. Yeah. I want to jump your skin. Yeah. And they made love. I don't think we expected it to be that sexy. No, I knew it was good straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember who sent it in to us. We have to give him a shout out. Already did. Time. Thank we you did. guys for that. All right, let's get into it. Guys, we have a few hotlines here. The hotline <sighs> melted again. Um, so we're going to throw, listen to this, Canada. Let's go to Canada. Adam. Hi. This is a long one, everyone. Um, Minute 47. I'm Canadian and I'm a St. Kilda supporter. I lived in Australia when I was like nine years old. He warmed up. He gets in 2009. And St. Kilda were very good. Sure. And now uh, it's hard to follow them (laughs) from Canada, but I try. I don't stay up to like the games are at like two or three in the morning for me. I don't watch them, but I always wake up and the first thing I do in the morning is I I don't check the score right away. I always like to scroll through the St. Kilda team Twitter account so I can see exactly how the game is unfolding. (laughs) And one thing that I have noticed is that that it, like it just starts and everybody is already so pissed off <laughs> like i read the the comments and everybody like the first quarter will end like come to quarter time st kilda's down 20 and everyone's like oh here we go again and then by the third they'll often be closer it'll be like they'll bring they'll bring it back and nobody is happy about it like everyone is like god this is just miserable they, they, no one is confident the comeback, and then the comeback never actually gets completed, so it's it's justifiable. But I'm just wondering, when will Saint Kilda be good enough? Will they ever be good enough for me to justify staying up until three thirty or four in the morning to watch them play? Thank you. Great question. And uh, interesting take to how he does it. Doesn't want to watch the final scores. Just no. wants to go through Twitter and see how see it melt down. So you are a Saints guy. Yep. Do you think there's ever going to be a chance where Adam can get up and watch a game and knowing that maybe something exciting happens? Yeah, there could be an element of, you know, Adam needing a, a cup of concrete just in order to harden okay, up Okay, now you're going to piss off our only Canadian <laughs> listener no, as well. Adam, brother, thank you, mm. but... You just got to get up and do it, don't you? You just have to. It's just the rules. True. Good on you for getting on um on Twitter. I mean, the Saints were they surprised us in the weekend. 
106 points was, whoa. Well, they surprised you. I was pretty confident going No, in yeah, but you're always confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, we'll get into them when we do the, um, yeah. the review, but that was actually very impressive. It's like a different team. Yeah, it was exciting. Probably give them two points. Yeah. If the oh, AFL was serious absolutely. about helping them out. All right, let's go to Nate from Perth. Greetings from Perth, Dan and Ollie. Um, just want to start off the rip here by saying what a weekend of football. Mm-hmm. You are right, a legend. Out with North Melbourne fans. But just, I just wanted to highlight one particular game, and it was our beloved Hawkeys game. All right? Um, I'm all for Hawthorne success. Definitely the coolest team in the league. But I just want to touch on um, their selection panel and having Nick Watson come in. I mean, his four goals have 20 touches as a small forward. You know, that's an elite effort. In the VFL, comes into the AFL and what does he do? He says, Mum and Dad, get ready to change the sheets because I'm shitting the bed. All right, I'm going to shit the bed. Kicks one goal four and the one goal that he kicked, he turns to the crowd and he goes, shh, Nick, you're playing VFL next week. Shut your mouth. Play some proper football. Please. That's all I've got to say. Well done. Well done, mate. I mean, the wizard... He is wizardly. Yeah. He's making the goals disappear sometimes yeah. in front of goals. We, we go through something about the wizard soon in this app, a bit later because he did something pretty random after the game, which <laughs> I picked up on and he got taken down straight away. I love it. On his own socials. But a lot of talk about the wizard. Yeah. I, I feel torn here because, believe it or not, I watched the Hawthorne game with his cousin. With his cousin? Yeah. Tom Watson. <laughs> that was a, it's a girl. Oh. I won't. Tomalina. Well, Tomalina, correct. Okay. Yeah. Give her identity away. Oh, so you got to be but careful n- what you're saying here. But now I'm torn. But yeah. all I'm saying is yes. Yeah, 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 I know. I agree. Yeah, it was, um, I mean, I don't know. It's early Jack Ginnivan vibes from him. Okay, From yeah. AFL Public, don't you reckon? Like everyone wants to see him kind of miss or like the pressure is building. Yeah. I don't know what it is actually about the wizard. He came in with a lot of... Not a lot of pressure, but a lot of talk about him. He's kind of come in and just not really done the wizardly stuff we thought. No. I think, you know what? Scrap all what I just said. If you have the nickname The Wizard, just you got to do some wizardly stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like calling me, you know, full-time legend and I come in here and I'm the most boring bloke in the world. We're true. Like, you know, you can't do that. No, okay. True. Well done, mate. Um, this is from... Uh, we go to Will. Will's a poor lad supporter who has written us a poem. Oh, lovely. G'day, guys. I'm... Um... <laughs> I've just written a poem after the Port Adelaide vs GWS game. It's called Ken. Ken, Ken, what's going on? Port lost again and our dreams are gone. I'd rather be tracked with a lacerated spleen. Be forced to watch us kick six goal fucking 15. The bye was tough. I felt such a void. But we're still so arse. Call us Gozer's hemorrhoid. Okay, but. We were in the four. Now we're just an outsider. Feeling outraged like Goz when we settled for Paddy Ryder. Yep. We'll never give up. It's a relentless endeavour. Like Ollie Gill and Beebs, we'll never say never. But Kenny, 11 years and all have been tough. It's about time we say, Knuff is Knuff. Thank you. Well done, Will. That's beautiful. And thank you for being brave. Yeah. Like you obviously hear he was holding back tears and yeah. the pain in those words, that beautiful poem that he wrote with his heart, obviously, after a hard weekend. Brave. That's, well, all that's I can where say. honest literature comes from, though. Yeah. It comes from a tortured artist. And, yeah. you know, maybe, you know, his pain is our gain. Man, and he made a great point in there. Things did go downhill after they refused to trade me yeah. and prioritise Paddy Ryder. That would be a mistake that can, you know, everyone talks about. North and the yep. mistake they made by winning that last game and not yep. getting Harley. They never talk about getting Ryder in front of Gorringe. Sliding Do doors. Sliding door moments. Damo Barrett, four eyes. Um, <laughs> oh, your glasses as well. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit of a drive okay. by from you, but no This worries. is going to be great. Okay, I want to go into the mind of um, North, what happened yesterday. Oh, I think we need, it's important to try and dissect what happened here. So this is from... I don't know who it is, his name. His, his email just said Cooper something. But okay. this he sent one in. He sent two in. He sent one in in the second quarter and one after the game. So Ooh. this is how – this Bit sums it up perfectly. So this is the second quarter. Okay. Talk about their leads are off. Nine minutes to go in the second quarter. North Melbourne up by 30. We are making the eight. Book our grand final tickets. We're going into fucking September. Kanga, Kanga, Kanga. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> and then a few <laughs> short moments later. A few moments later. Kanga, Kanga, Kanga. <laughs> what the fuck on the watch? <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> so that sums up, I think. The game perfectly. If yeah. you didn't watch the game and you've just listened to the podcast today, that's that's exactly what you need to know. It was real kanga 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 poo 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 vibes, poo, wasn't mash, it? it was... massively. And I said to him, I said, please don't shit him. Nah. 50 points up, do not shit him. So Oof. I know. It's not good. There's a lot here. There's, the next one is also from a North supporter. Um, his name's Ryan. Now, I think it should be pretty calm. Okay. But I'm not exactly sure. Stand by. This, this will be nice and calm. Okay. Mate, long time listener, first time caller. Sounds calm. Um, well, first things first, I want to say your little memo service is giving me a lisp. I don't have one, um, but when you hear this back and I have a lisp, that's why. Uh, I'm a North supporter, mate. Okay, sounds I'm all right. North supporter, and he uh, sounds fine. I think you yeah. expect me to probably sit here, scream down your hotline, Mario from Doncaster star. But mate, I'm just, I'm just feeling a bit too flat for that. Feeling a bit oh. devastated, if I'm quite honest. Oh. So I thought I'd, I thought I'd ask you. Given that you know Laura Kane, if you could, um, if you could fucking have a chat with her, how the fuck does the bloke take a mark on the wing? Two different blokes run over the mark, not 50 meters, and kick it down. Oh, Nick Dacos takes on three blokes in the forward 50, and he doesn't get done for holding the fucking ball. So there's that. <laughs> um, I guess. <laughs> North Ball, George Wardlaw, Wardlaw's a, a fucking superstar and all that. But um, yeah, I guess I'm just I'm just sitting here, I'm thinking, I'm ruining to myself, I'm ruminating, and I'm thinking, what could have been, you know, if we didn't fucking blow a 54 point lead? North, do you fucking hate us? What the fuck? All right, that did not go the way I thought. Well done, mate. That's great. And a good emotion. All yeah. we want here is emotion. So he didn't mention the 50 thing. I think let's get into it. Was it a 50? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was. was. It was right. It was, it was It was absolutely 50. Now, I'm not going to say that that's the reason North lost because if you blow a nine goalie, like you shit the bed, you, you probably deserve to be in danger of losing any game. Regardless. Yep. But that was probably the most obvious 50 we've seen all year. Yeah. All year. Not because it was just one bloke who ran over the over the mark as a player marked the footy, but it was two blokes. We had two magpies fly through. Two absolutely flew at him. And we have paid 50s for so much less than that. Winhager got done on Friday night. Yes, For one did. that was way less than that. And again, the issue with the umpires is fucking consistency. That's all we want. First quarter, that would have been paid. Last yep. quarter, things get tight and we don't pay him for some reason. And that is, in a nutshell... You want to package something up and send it to the AFL why the fans are angry? Send them that. Yeah. That exact clip. That's why we're angry. It was pretty frustrating. It's so bad. And now, you know, they're going to come out and apologize. I have no doubt they're going to come out and apologize and say it's a wrong decision. Stop apologizing to us. Just get it right. Yeah. That's all we want is for you to get it right. Like, we actually want you to make this product better. We are finding it so hard to watch footy. I sat – when I did shooting in eventually when I saw the score in that last two minutes, I was like, two times – Dacos and then the 50. Yeah. Come on. Just easy ones. That's yeah. an easy – that's not even a, a – that's not a hard one to make. It's not a, that's not a ball on a boundary line bouncing back in. That's so blatantly obvious. So blatantly – and if you're getting that wrong as an umpire, I'm sorry, you have no business being an umpire. <laughs> I, I know it's hard. Was that bad, do you reckon? Mate, yeah. Ollie, yeah. fuck, hey, it's I'm bad. Just, just playing devil's advocate. You I'm, have, just, I, I'm you sorry, know. but I know we're trying to get umpires into, the, into our game and, and we're trying to not – cuddle them and be nice to them because mm. we know it's tough, a tough game to, to umpire, but fuck me dead. <laughs> Don't you reckon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. Like horrible, horrible. So the solution is like literally, we keep saying it, we've said it for the last 13 weeks we've been here. Please, AFL, please, please, please pay them full-time wages. Look after them. Give them super. You know, give sure. them give them lunch allowances. Give yeah. them a fuel card. Yeah. Look after them. Take them out for a few beers on a Friday. Get a bit loopy. Yeah. Go to the strippers. Every six weeks, there's a bit of culture bonding, you know. You got something about strippers? I hate, I hate so much that I've had to interrupt you here. But there has been a massive development in Australia. Yeah, they're not serving nachos there. 
If you have binge, tune into season two, episode four of Colin from Accounts. Oh, no. Oh, Bro- wow. Broden Kelly, uh, of course, from the Auntie Donna, takes Patrick Brummel, um, the character, uh, to the strippers. Yep. And he said, great nachos here. They do chicken and beef. That's great. Do you mind if I have some? True. This came out last week, Dan. I don't want to say that they're listening. Do you reckon they know? But I reckon that that hey, was an inspired quote. We've got ears in the pod. Uh, we've got a lot of ears in the pod. We've got teams who are sending us stuff. we now got Colin from Accounts who's doing stuff. We also had a memo that I'm not going to play because it got a bit loose towards the end. But a guy who went to the strippers after the Adelaide game in Adelaide and said, hey, I don't want lap dance. I want nachos. And they said we don't serve nachos here. Oh, well, he went to the wrong one then, clearly. But yeah, true. Yeah. True. So... I mean, the umpires, and then there was, again, the Dacos thing. And now Kane yeah. Corns has come out today and said, I think, and good on him for putting a, you know, uh, a stick in the ground and say, taking a stance. Yeah. So he says, I think Dacos gets umpired differently to all the other players. And we have two lots of evidence now that proves that maybe he does. We had the Bulldogs one. I don't know if you remember that a couple I weeks do. ago. He's yeah. running at the back line, gets pinned, cl- holding the ball clearly. And then we had the one yesterday, takes on two blokes, doesn't get a handball out, and the umpire goes, playing. so does he get umpired differently? I think he probably does, you know. I think he does, and that's not his fault. No. It's because the umpires have decided for some reason that if you're a better player than everyone else, I'm going to look at you differently. Maybe maybe somewhere in their brain they go, we'll give you more leeway. Yeah. I don't know. But it, it's just – and then we had another person saying that maybe the umpiring hasn't been bad this year. It's just been because the games have been so close. And I think so. I think there's a bit of a magnifying glass on stuff mm. when it is so close, but it's just been bad. Mm. And even I'm getting sick of – Whacking him. Yeah, totally. Because that, you don't want to. I don't want to whack, but when you let two blokes charge a player who's taken a mark and say, oh, good, play on, yeah. play on. Yeah. What do you mean? He marked the ball. Like, it's yeah. just, a, just a bad two-minute patch there for the umpies. You know what I reckon we need to maybe get a psychologist to dissect this. So with Nick Dacos, I don't think anyone assumes that he's asked to be umpired differently, right? No. But I reckon, is there a chance that when you're an umpire and you're trying to officiate an unbelievable player, Mm. there's somewhere in your brain that just can't comprehend the fact that he might have made a mistake. So you just – you almost go, no, that couldn't have happened. Yeah, that couldn't couldn't have happened. happened. Like I must have seen that. that, No. I don't know. He wouldn't have done yeah, that. Yeah, I think it's now to a point where and people don't want to talk about it like because it's just something that they don't want to get themselves into an argument. Mm. But I think there is a case there to say that Dacos probably does get umpired differently. Yeah. And again, not his fault at all. So I wish I did. Bloody damn, got those calls. Um, this is from another North supporter. I think it's Tom. Name's Tom. Diehard. North Melbourne supporter. There's a couple things I wanted to say and hopefully you review this. We will. Clarko, what the fuck are you doing? I have to forgot about this completely. Will Phillips had a job. Had a job on day uh, And a responsibility, Tom. Did not bad, limiting him a bit. Did pretty good, Tom. Day just has 10 in the last quarter. Oh, yeah, we'll just put Shields on him. Shields is 45 fucking years old. That's the running power of a fucking horse with three broken legs. <laughs> Didn't really help either that Collingwood just had a couple extra players on the field wearing green. But fuck me. Just blow your whistle, you idiots. Stay consistent. Well done, Tom. I don't know how much more I can take being a North Melbourne supporter and tuning into the footy every week just to be disappointed. <laughs> pause, long pause. Real, real tough times. Yeah, it is, real, mate. Real tough times. It is. It's tough. I did forget about that um, by Clarko. Yeah. Taking Phillips off. It was a rogue decision. Really rogue. Especially when the the young man is disgruntled, mm-hmm. wants to leave the club. Probably has his best game for the club. Yep. And Clarko says, get off. There's a lot of Joe Biden about Clarko to me. <laughs> what, he just, what, freezing? Just, like, <laughs> just free. I can see him freezing, like, just forgetting where he is sometimes. Like, he's strikes me as a guy who's like, brain might be leaving him. Yeah. Decisions like that make me wonder. He's moments away from a freeze. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, well, let's get on the other side of the coin of yesterday's game and let's go take a few calls from the Magpie oh dear. Army. Ruby Purcell. This is Ruby. I'm trying to find Ruby here. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby here. Ruby Ruby, 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 Ruby. Hey, boys. Um, I'm a Collingwood supporter and I'm in third quarter time of Collingwood v North Melbourne and I'm 
I'm honestly using this as a, a bit of a lifeline situation. Oh. I'm gonna get cry. So, We're losing to North fucking Melbourne. Oh, sorry. So she's called in a three quarter time, thinking the game's yeah. over. The team went like. They won one miracle game because fucking Harley Reid wasn't playing and now we're getting pumped, pumped by them. We literally, I thought the hangover was cured. I thought we took a fucking strapsel and kept kicking, but we're back. Okay, so Ruby, if you had uh, haven't even checked the score yet, you guys win. Yeah. So if you want to tune back in. Also, I don't know if Ruby's had a hangover before, but I don't think strapsels help. Uh, true, <laughs> that's <laughs> throat awareness. <laughs> yeah, that's Listen true. Let's throat awareness. All right, I'll take a couple more here, then we'll get through uh, the other stuff we've got planned for the episode because there's a lot in this well, one. We, I mean, we could just do a f- literally. I mean, that's the thing about the hotline. You could literally do yeah. a full thing about um, what happens in the games. I'm trying to pick the best ones here. Um, let's go to uh, um, Geordie. Let's give you the best version of Fluffy. Get rid of this Warner, Golden, Heaney stuff. The only fluffy you need to know about is Nick fucking Dacos. Okay, that's the same person, Toby. Holy shit. Geordie. North Melbourne might be the dumbest team in the fucking league. Why would you sub off Will Phillips? Where did Nick Larkey go? Played one mm. quarter like Christian Petrarca and fucked off. Okay, well, that was a different scenario, mate. <laughs> oh, you would be fuming if you are North there. That is outrageous. Collingwood, they had the umps on their side, but... You still got to do a good fucking effort to choke a 54 point lead. <laughs> That's a good point. That true. Disappointing. Wow. What the actual fuck? Just laying into him. But Nick Dacos, give him the brown low. He's got it. Give him another five. He's <laughs> okay. Five anyway. You can't give him five, mate. You can't give him five. All right. Like we know that. All right. So let's take a couple more here. Um, let's go to Toby from Hawthorne Town. Toby's from apparently. Hawthorne um, Town. I don't know why I did that. I wrote that down. Toby, 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 Toby. <laughs> oh, the Hawks are winning the flag. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Forget about Sydney. <laughs> Forget about the Blues. <laughs> Forget about anyone, the Hawks. They are winning the flag. That's Bad luck, anyone. Uh, here we go again. Probably locking another three-peat. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Hawks are in town. Wow, okay. Well, they're confident over there. Felt a little bit uncomfortable. Dude, yeah, I mean, he's very, one. very confident. I just want to play one last one. We yep. have a sighting. Um, because we need a Harley Reid update. Yeah, like, where is he? What's yeah. he doing? <laughs> It's going to get weird. Holly Reid is out tonight in Perth, and I'm shook. Blade. Anyway, love the podcast. Holly Reid is out on the tower. On you, Bella. Bye. Yeah, on you, Bella. Harley Reid was Big out and slay. about, was he? Harley Reid getting around, getting me some Smirnoff ices. Get me a Bacardi shot. Uh, yeah. Get me a 161 shot. Have one of those before? Uh, uh, no, like I haven't. Like petroleum. Oh, really? Harley Reid. Give me a booth at Love Nightclub. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't want Harley Reid to jump up and down in a nightclub because there'd be that many tokens that would fall out of his coat. From oh, all, drink know, cards? Drink cards. Yeah, we had a lot of drink cards. Yeah. Classic drink really? cards, yeah. AFL player. He was also um, in Port Melbourne. He was. With I, his, uh, I almost rushed down yeah. Bay Street. That's a K from my house. Yeah. I almost bolted down Bay Street. Now, question. I don't want to give away your location. Question for that notice. Of where you live. Yeah. I drove down. Now, is Bay Street the one that's parallel to the water? No, nah, that's Beaconsfield Parade. Okay, so I was driving down the parade. Mm. There's a guy's house with a massive blues flag. Oh, like, the big dog house? Yeah. yeah that's not yours. Uh, <laughs> no, <nah. laughs> nah, I know that house. A massive yeah. one. It only It's only up when they're winning though, obviously. Yeah, well. Yeah, but I've seen that. That that Beaconsfield Parade, for those who know Melbourne, when the finals is on, every house there has like a different flag at the front. Really? Yeah, That's they quite let, cool. They let everyone know who they go for. Yeah. I like but that. But Harley was in Port Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Baker's Light down there. Ricky Nixon also lives there. Might have been meeting Ricky. We don't know. <laughs> but I have seen Ricky rolling around coals sometimes um, with trackies on and no underpants and just swinging left to right. Ooh. And, and then he gets taller paper. It's like, Ricky, we need to clean this thing up. Oh. Allegedly. Well, and he a, will feature in our allegedly yeah, series later on in the year. He definitely will. Let's get some football and then we'll do a preview of the round because it's a massive round. Hey, the Swans are cooking. Yep. 12 and 1. We haven't seen anything like it. Uh, I can't remember a year where there's been such a clear cut favourite. 
uh, ahead of the the rest oh. of the league. I mean, I'm trying to think who else um, would have been a clear cut favorite back in the day. I'm not sure. Oh, oh here we are. I'll do it right here. West Coast, 2005. Yep, that's fair. And then went on to lose the grand final to Sydney. Yep, that's fair. But I think that's the last team I can remember where you go, you know what? More than halfway through the year, I don't think anyone's touching you. I felt like maybe Geelong 2009. Was, Maybe, yeah. Was pretty close to that. So I say that, and then in the back of my head, I have the seed that Richmond planted where I go, you lost to the Tigers. Yeah. At the G. And I'm, I'm big on, I'm going to take it to the grave with me this year. I'm not going to die this year. <laughs> I'm going to take it with me wherever I go. That, yeah. They'll make the grand final yeah. and they will lose the grand final to whoever. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. I just got to, I could, you know my vibe, when mm. I feel it down there deep, it fucking is tingling. It's like someone's got their lips on my balls and just gone... <laughs> Like, it's like, that's the vibe I'm getting. Sounds awful. Do you, are you with me or not on that? You no, 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 no. And, and yeah. bizarrely- They're not your lips, but- biz- <laughs> oh, Shame. Um, bizarrely, if I think about any team losing a grand final just in general, that's the team I feel like I've watched lose a lot of grand finals. They can lose them. They'll like, lose them. Yeah. Yeah. Experience at losing them. Just and saying that, they've been unbelievable. I think we do have Melbourne and Collingwood with the blame for this. Yeah, that's true. Collingwood for getting rid of Grundy, then giving to Melbourne. Melbourne then obviously yep. trading away Grundy um, for literally nothing, trading yep. away um, Adams. Yep. Collingwood trading away Adams for literally a meat pie and yep. a Gatorade. We love Gatorades. Gatorade is the best, but that's essentially what they did. Yep. So th- 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 what they're doing is is unreal. They've, we know they've got the, the fluffy. Yep. Grundy, all Australian year. Give mm. him his flowers. Like I, I looked at him – the year before, even at Melbourne and said, you're not going to get back to what you are. Mm. Like you're nowhere near it. And then he has come out this year and probably contention for Australian with Gorn. And they might go the two-head monster with the ruck. They've done oh. it before. He's been that good. He's been unbelievable. So he's. you think about where he's come from as well. Gets injured at Collingwood. Yeah. Doesn't find his way back in the team. Trade to Melbourne, has a horrible year. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it wasn't that bad, but they tried him as a forward and it just – Look, wasn't going to work. Looked pretty bad looked, from an looked, outsider. Aesthetically, looked horrible. Yeah. Watches his team that he got traded from and he won two best and fairest out as a two-time All-Australian. Watches them win a flag. Says, I've got to get out of the situation. Where am I going to go? Port Adelaide fly in to meet him. Mm-hmm. They fly in Rosie, Butters and Ken. He goes, I don't really like that. A few Guernseys. A few Guern- great Guernseys. Yeah. Respect for the Guernseys. But he says, not the Guernseys. No. Not going to get me over the line. I'm going to go up to Sydney, get away from football. I'm going to go play for someone who believes in me. Yep. In horse. Decides he's going to go there. And now he's back with a team that are flag favourites and looking like he could potentially be a premiership player. It's it's actually a really wholesome story. Yeah. It's amazing what it. feeling good can do to a player. Get him in the right environment. Yeah. That's why I never Just flourished. Happy. Yeah. Never. I had to make way for those bloody kids at Carlton that are now pretty good. Yeah. Sons never gave me a chance. I had Rocket Aid. No. But I, it's just, yeah, I, I'm so happy for Grundy. I'd be very happy to see him win a flag. Yeah. They're a very likable team as, as well, I feel like. Just yeah. outside of him. Yeah, they are. I'd very likable. really happy to see Nothing him. that you don't like about him. Uh, I think of one guy. Winning too much is a bit annoying. But yeah. I talk about him being All-Australian. So he's averaging 20 touches and 32 hit outs. Gorn's averaging 20 and 35 hit outs. Yeah. So he's been around Gorn. We look at Gorn as like a clear-cut favourite. They could go double ruck. How he's ironic been that would good. that be? He's, uh, it'd be? I know. Couldn't fit them in a team in real life. <laughs> but now put them in a, a yeah. fake team. It's it's just really, really cool to see. So shout out to him. And also they, I think watching him on the weekend, watching him play Adelaide, they've got a gear that no one can match. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't, I, you know, Blues have a gear. Collingwood clearly have a gear. We've seen that yesterday. <laughs> but they have a gear that I don't think anyone could go with them when mm. they're up and firing. Mm. And Marty's now kicking nine, turning to Buddy Franklin. When did Marty turn to Buddy Franklin? When did he decide to get those powers? He should have stayed on for his 10th. Mm, Paul said no. Said no, no, you're going to rest you. But pick 28 in the rookie draft. Oh, Joel Marty, what a steal. That is insane. It's unbelievable. So, And now they have to find a way to put Parker and Mills back into this team, which I'm struggling to find out how they do that. I have no idea. No idea. So, I mean, I, I, it's just, it's Sydney and then Daylight Yeah. at the moment. That gear you speak about as well, it was just such a moment in that game against the Crows where you could hear it. Just shift, shift. It. It's you like they were trying to find oh, it for the first yeah, half. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? You know what it's like? You've driven manual. Oh, no, no I one, one or two times. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but when you when you drive, picture yeah. these guys, maybe you're driving right now in your manual, when you're trying to find that gear, yeah. you're like, oh, no, I can't really find it. Maybe it's an older car. Yeah. And then you find it and it's like, oh, oh let it go. And, That's yeah. what they do. It was unbelievable. So, yeah, Sydney, uh, a, a crazy next level. And 
I say that, but also say just just be mindful of that and remember that they lost to Richmond. Mm. So there is that Achilles heel in them that they are and gettable. There was that moment with the Crows, I did think. Ooh. Well, I, I predicted them, yeah. the Crows to get them, and half time I was sitting pretty thinking yeah. maybe, maybe, but too good, way too good. Uh, the tag's back. Oh. How do you find the tag? What are your views on it? Oh, I love the tag. You love it? It looks so annoying, but it's, it's great. horrible. Yeah. It's back in fashion big time. So I think we've got, you know, last three weeks, it feels like it's bigger than ever. Chincotta? Yep. Win Hager, Will Phillips, yep. Austin Dacos. Now, if you've never tagged someone, it is literally the worst role to be playing because mm. you're not in a game. No. You're in your own game and there's a game going on around you. Mm-hmm. And I've played with people who have tagged in teams that I've played for and they even know that they're 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 playing a, a literally a shitty role. Yeah. But a role that is so important. Yeah. It's like the coach says, hey, this is our game plan for the weekend. This is what we're going to do. And then just looks at you and goes, like, you're just clearly going to follow that guy around. Yeah. It's a horrible way to spend two hours. It's You're not even really playing footy. You're not playing. You, you actually are not playing yeah. footy. If the ball if the ball trickles out to you, then you get to touch it. Yeah. But other than that, you're not breaking to perimeter and you know, out to wings or trying to kick goals. It's like, I'm just going to follow Dacos around for you're two just hours. just a wrestler. So well, I, I don't mind it. I like it. I like it. it's back. Well, I don't know why it left. It's a great idea. I don't know why I left. And, yeah. I, th- and I think about Windhager in particular and the, the games that we've, you know, the, the two games that we've won recently. It's no surprise that you take Miller out of the game or Reed out of the game. Mm. Things become a whole heap easier. Yeah. yeah. Like it's just, that's, that's just simple footy maths for it me. It actually is simple. Maybe we overcomplicate it. I mean, it's literally like go and take out their best player. Yeah. Like that's obviously going to go and a long way. And they won't touch it as much. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I, I'm a big on the tag. Yeah, I like it. So, And it's also like, hey, other teams, let's start trying to break a tag. Yeah. Let's try and get into the tagger. Why don't we get a tagger for the tagger? <laughs> oh, like a human centipede out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, obviously not that. Well, yeah. Yeah. A yeah, tag of the tagger. You're tagging the tagger. Rate that. And just have mind fuck him. Yeah. I mean, that means you are probably down two players. <laughs> but- <laughs> It'd be bold. I don't hate it. Maybe yeah, just bring for that, a half a quarter. Just yeah, to, bring it in. Yeah. Pom- okay, before we get any further, oh. pom-poms back big time. I saw so many pom-poms. Now, I do have a thing about the pom-poms. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm happy they're back. But yeah. I have a, a real, not that I know, but I think what happens is when a goal gets kicked towards the pom-pom end, they're not allowed a pom-pom. Say that again. So say I'm kicking to Punt Road. Yeah. I'm Carlton. Mm-hmm. I kick a goal. Carlton cheer squad can just celebrate, but they can't pom-pom. Right. But if they were on the other other end of the stadium and I've still kicked the punt road, they'll let a pom-pom. Oh. I think there's something with like commercial agreement over the LED barriers. That's what it is. Because you can't see the sponsors in the screen. That's why I didn't notice them. That's bloody good. Yeah. That's bloody good. Well done. Told you. Because obviously that's where all the tight vision happens. Yep. Goals. I'm so smart. Yeah. Yeah, so you're not allowed to pom-pom towards right, goal okay. in, but you can pom-pom whenever. Yeah. We but did it, see a lot. It's still interesting that you still feel like they're back and I don't think they ever left. I so. honestly have never noticed them until everyone sent me a pom-pom this week. Yeah. Every, and also what I saw, which I loved, early celebrations. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Saw a few real early ones, like pre-ball hitting boot. Yeah, loved, loved that. Loved it. Yeah, so keep doing that. And Pre-run get up would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Just like yeah, mid-run up's yeah. good. That high tens. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's never so leaving. Remember to do that this weekend. We'll probably remind you anyway. Um, the Wizard, we spoke about him before. Yeah. You had uh, lunch with his family or something like that. <laughs> I went to the London Tavern. London. And had I, a few froffies. Yeah. Got a I good mean, story from the London. I'll tell you later. Well, you can tell it now if you want. Well, I just, I was going to say it with the voice memo stuff. Um, I was coming back from the bar and a girl went, oh, wait there. And it, she got her phone out and made me. Oh, you were in the memos? Send one in. Oh, my but God. But she, she couldn't get it working. So she went, hang on, wait. God oh, damn it. Hey, wait there. And you had to wait there. And I'm standing there with two drinks oh, going, come on. I don't really know what, what nah. this is. And she said, um, let's hear that dog in you. And I just went. <laughs> and she she went, send it in? Yeah. And she went, oh, that wasn't actually that funny, but thank you. <laughs> just off she went and I went. Oh, great. Thanks for that. I mean, if you're going to do the your dog, you got to commit to it. Yeah, but that is the dog that I have in me. Yeah, it's Meow. a real, you know, True. Italian greyhound. It is, yeah. You know, shivering in a corner, <laughs> you know, wearing a jacket. Yeah, but, right. But uh, no, yes. That's good. A few photos as well. You sent me a photo with mm, someone in here. Yeah. Get your quota. Yeah, got a couple of photos, mate. Get God, your quota? Yeah. We're having a big party when you hit 10K followers. Yeah. Now, I wanted to talk about this. I'm thinking uh, I want to run a footy trivia night party. <sighs> 
for ten thousand followers. I will. I will pay for that. The company will pay for that. Yep. When and you can pick the venue. Yep. I'm thinking and it'll be your ten k party. Yep. I just think. Uh, I think as well. Once you hit like twenty and thirty and forty and, and beyond, you probably can't have a party. No, I mean that'd be expensive for us. Yeah. But but I, I promise you, once you hit ten k, we'll throw a party for you. So we'll we're at about run. seven and a half. Okay. I think. I've seen the listenership. We have enough people there to get you to ten pretty yeah. quickly. But I do feel like once it happens, they'll all unfollow me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny but as well. But if we can get to 10, okay. then we've got a they party. Run. If we get to 10, yeah. we're going to throw only a 10K party to pub. Yeah. And we'll do a trivia. You want to do the trivia? Yeah, you wanna, I want to run it. Yeah, I've done that before. So. What day thinking? Friday night is Friday night footy, so probably have to be a weekday. Probably yeah, well, like a, like a normal Tuesday trivia night kind of thing. Done. All right, yeah. we'll organise that. Okay. Yeah. And you deserve that as well. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, now back on track to the wizard. Yeah. Because you had uh, lunch with the <laughs> Lunch mum. with the family, yeah. yeah. The wizard got himself in trouble. So we know what happened on the weekend. He kicked one four. He looked a bit shaky. He has a run-up, which is questionable. Yeah. A lot of the old May Lloyd and John O'Brien saying, what you got to do is sh- shut it. Yeah. Guys, it's, you're not him. No. You know? Let him do his thing. It clearly works. Got him drafted. Yeah. He plays the VFL and kicks goals. He veers out so far to yep. the right is because he can't kick more than 40 metres. Yeah, this is the thing, Matthew Lloyd. You don't have little legs like me and the Wiz do. Literally. That we have to swing around a little bit more to get a little bit more momentum. But Lloyd, Lloydy, the ball's bigger than his head. Yeah. You know, imagine, imagine Lloydy, you kicking something that's bigger than your head. Yeah. The ball's almost halfway up his shin if you put it on the ground. Yep. The ball's literally up to his hip. Yep. You know how hard it would be to kick something that's half your body size? Yeah. It'd be impossible. So get off his back. Yeah. Big time. And get on my back because I'm bigger and you break his back. Yeah. Interesting direction. I don't want him to get off his back. Yeah. I just let him do his thing. You know, I he's, he's, he's going to kick his goals. It's going to come. It will click. I, I truly believe it will, it will click for him, but he'll be right. Next, give him two or three years. He's going to be like really wizardry. Yeah. As much as we've not piled on, but had our fun with him. I, I do believe that he'll be a good player. Well, you've got to remember first year at Hogwarts, you're really just learning the craft, just some basic spells. And You are, true. You know, towards the end of your time at you're Hogwarts. You're doing a Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the start. Just lifting a, a feather. Yeah, you know? you're, not, you're not killing um, Snape. You, well, you wouldn't do that. But not killing Hufflepuff. Well, you wouldn't do that either, but Voldemort Damn boy. certainly. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to Hagrid's little dungeon and saying, righto, cop this. Yeah. Dead. As if you... <laughs> they the, kill him, don't they? No. Getting me off track, mate. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I said yes. no more Harry Potter as well. I did. I clearly said that last okay. ep. Listen, it's the wizard, yep. Harry Potter, connection. I get that. It's fine. I accept it now. So he had a bad day and obviously he kicked one four and copped it from the crowd a little bit. He did. So the Hawks win. The Wiz decides to get online, put a story up with CJ for his 50th, a couple of the boys. Yep. The caption mm. was, fuck that. CJ's 50th game, hate me, H8 me. Oh. It was up for three minutes before the Hawks social media team said, whoa, 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 that's got to come down. And lest we forget, Hawthorne had probably one of the more forgiving and relaxed social media teams out yeah, there. Yeah, that's a bit too relaxed. That's, yeah. that's a laxative. And that was a bit shitty a coming rela- out, wasn't it? It was a relaxative. Relaxative. That was a, that was a zanny. Yeah. Uh, that, I think they took a zanny and said, hey, we're all for zannies around here. Yeah. That's probably a bit a lit. We're all for Zanny Island. Oh, uh, yeah. But you can't pal out by yourself like that, Wiz. Nah. You know? <laughs> like, well, we're happy to have some fun here, but that's probably a bit too much. So it got taken down straight away. Yeah. And the damage was done by the time. That Did went you take out. a screenshot? Oh, I've got it. Yeah, nice. No, I've got it. Yeah. Me. So he'll learn. Young. Yeah. 19. He'll learn. He'll get better. The crowd, the media is, I think he's just learning that this AFL thing is fucking ruthless. Yeah, totally. Like, it's a lot. Also, just a last thing from me on the Wiz possible eyeliner. I reckon. <laughs> Whoa, that is a huge call. And just, you can't be saying players are wearing eyeliner so casually. Well, I what feel do you like mean? other than the, some of the other things that you've said that the, yeah, they have, have not I do done it. it. Okay. Eyeliner is fine. He just wants... He, if All right, we'll go there. So run me through his prep. He goes, have I got my socks? Have I got my boots? Have I got yep. my mouth guard? Have I got my eyeliner? Yep. And he's doing eyeliner in the car. I reckon so. He's got very dark, like, I'm convinced... Wow, that is a huge call. I want to watch for him. Yeah. He's done Tattoo so Watch, just, now we're going to I want to watch. Just, hey, sorry, Tattoo Watch, track. Oh. Ball of pasta in the leg. Didn't see that coming. No. Nope. And again, Tattoo Watch isn't whether you know it looks good or not. It's just not expected. No. You've you, never- you got to love pasta to get pasta on you. <sighs> I just realised on Tattoo Watch as well, I yeah. have the worst tattoos. Like I'm definitely on Tattoo Watch. How I many- have lids off on my thigh yeah. and sewage in my ass. Yeah. Keep forgetting it's behind you there. 
Keep forgetting you've we got to get that. Jason Castagna in to get you stick man. Yeah, 100%. We will. We'll Official reach out today. Call yeah, out. we'll reach out We're to him. We're doing that. We'll reach out. Um, before we get into the preview of the games, there's something big happening with the draft here. Now, clubs are spitting chips about draft changes that the AFL might bring in this year. Mm-hmm. We've spoken briefly a couple of weeks ago about how the father-son's going to change and the academy's going to change. So, AFL football operations boss, Laura Kane, I'm going to read this bit, guys, so we're going to sound a bit monotone. Confirmed the weekend. Um, the league was expected to make its calls on the father-son academy Academy points bidding system in the next couple of months as part of the competitive balance review, which might come into effect for this year's draft. And to be clear, changes are needed. Frustrations reached fever pitch last year when Gold Coast snapped four Academy players in the first round. So they got Judd Walter for pick three, Ethan Reed pick nine, Jake Rogers 14, and Will Graham for 26. That is a robbery of the draft. Oh, big time. Um, So they did that by matching bids on their players using lower draft picks following the AFL's draft value index. For example, they paid just picks 34 and 38 for Reed at nine, a ridiculously low price for a top 10 pick. That is actually pretty crazy when you think about that. Uh, A change to the system could see teams not being able to match bids inside the top 40 as we see next-gen academy Mm -hmm. players or more likely tweaking the pick need to use to match. For example, you have to bid using first round picks to get a first round player, which I actually like. While the potential change could be on the cards for some time, clubs have reportedly been anticipated any alterations would come in for 2025, not 2024. Now this is upset them because Laura Kane's saying, well, hold on, we might fast track it to this year, Mm. which is throwing all their draft boards out and all the work they're doing right now. So for example, how this works, Carlton has the Camperali, Camperali? Yep. Yeah. Camperali. 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 I probably said that wrong. They have the twins, Ben and Lucas, who are like highly touted, okay. playing for Adelaide, just dominating right now. And Adelaide has Tyler Welch, Brisbane has Levi Ashcroft, and a father son, yeah, for Levi Ashcroft. So that's big mm. for the draft, being not, if you want to get your father son now, you have to then use the pick that is equivalent to what their value is. I think it makes sense. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I never really understood it. Like, it's like, how does that work? Like, it's yeah. just, it feels. Fair and really unfair at the exact same time. I do. Th- I think there's a difference for father son. I think there's a real connection, a real. If you play, I think it's 100 games to get yeah. father son. I think that should be okay, because the kid probably walks to the club they want to play to after two years anyway. Yeah. If they're a strong connected like a Savani would have yeah. Jack back in the day, so I, I don't mind that father sons get the priority to go there. I still think with the father son, the club can still say no. Yeah, you if know? you're no good. If you're no good, the club it's very rare they <laughs> oh, do, but be all right. <laughs> yeah, but the but the club still has the option to say no. So I don't mind the father son. The academies. Again, I don't know. If you put the work into the kids, maybe you deserve them. Absolutely. I mean, again, I'm such a, a fan of soccer and it's all based on academy. Mm. And it's like, well, yeah, obviously, you know, you've yeah. given them a education, you've looked after them, you've yeah. taught them the way that you want them to play. It's only right that you get first dibs at signing them yeah. as a young un. So I say that they deserve them, but I also then say that thinking that they should pay their value. Sure. So if you're a next gen, you're a pick three, you have to pay a pick three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you have to trade a, a future 2025, which might be, I think you have to do that. Totally You fair. can't just steal a pick three for pick 38. Totally fair. Yeah. And I think that was the only complaint um, that St Kilda had, wasn't it, when they asked the AFL of rule changes. That's all they but, wanted. Because get this, they've never had a father-son, ever. Have they ever? In our history, we have never had a father-son. I think the closest that I know of that we came was... Tyson Milne, Stephen Milne's son. You're right. But he just wasn't Tip brat. quite good enough. Tip mouse. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it blows that my mind. That is wild. In our history, 150 years, never had a father son. Nick Rebolt, have a kid? Well, he's got three boys. So. Oh, here we go. Big time. But I'm worried they might end up being quarterbacks. Well, he's not coming. Yeah. Is he in, is he in the country, Nick? Oh, well, Cozzy. Justin Cozzy has a son. Yeah. Big boy. Is Nick in the country? I don't know. Well, better go on Nick Watch. He got deported. Um, yeah. Yeah. He did. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly got deported out of the country. So um, just quickly for the round, Ben King has done a knee. Not an ACL, yeah. they don't know, but done something to his knee at training. I'm not sure if we've got any more info on that, but that's big for the Suns. A team who's looking to play finals, a team who's on the cusp, yeah. a team who can't win games away from home, but can win them at home with a guy who's leading the Coleman. That's huge. So prayers and thoughts are with him and the Suns right now. If they lose him, mm. you could almost put a line through them. Yeah. I don't see another way that they score goals. And you're also starting to get a player who's starting to be known for an injury now. Well, exactly. You yeah, know, now, like now you take real caution with players that yeah. do two, hopefully not ACL, but a big knee injury. Yeah. That's, that's big. And of course, Max has also done a knee. So it's like there's it's something in the, the Kings' It's in the knees. genes, yeah. yeah. Be careful, Father Sons. After those two. Oh, big time. You know the ACL, ACL bit shaky. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It would be bad. Yeah, that's – um, it'd be tough. I mean, and you don't come back. Once you do 
any significant injury once or twice. You're oh. just not – you're not come back the same. Could only Physically, imagine. you're just not. No. You're not. So, well, hopefully they are. Okay, let's get into the ladder here before we get into the preview. Fifth to 13th on the ladder is going to be an absolute fight to get in. Mm-hmm. So, in fifth going down, we have Giants, Geelong, Port, Freo, Dogs, Suns, Ds, Hawks, Lions. Mm-hmm. Good luck trying to jam those into three spots. And start packing for Bali, Saints, Adelaide, Eagles, Richmond, and North. You guys, you're done now. You're just playing. You had to ruin some seasons. Mm-hmm. That's the way you look at it right now. Mm. You, you guys are done. But 5th to 13th is, is still very much wide open. Friday night footy, actually a very decent game. Saints, Brizzy, Brisbane won by 20 points. Now, a couple of things shocked me in this game. Mm-hmm. An umpire had a collision with a player. Concussion tests failed, done, subbed out the game. Yeah. That rattled me in the first half, second half maybe. And zero defense being played by both teams, especially the Saints because we know that's all that they know. Yeah, totally. So this absolutely was actually a good game to watch. 35 goals, no one defended, and the Saints in the last quarter were coming big time. Yeah. Absolutely coming. Play to their skin, then that Johnny Sins rat. Johnny Sins, you rat. Did it again. The second one he's done yep. on Winhager. And yep. when that happened yep. – I think Saints fans collectively knew all the wind this balloon was out. Yep. It was done. I'd rather he just stick to, you know, working in garages or at the hospital or... Doctor. Doctor yeah. or lawyer or real estate agent. Plumber. I'd just leave maybe yeah. the Saints games alone now, yeah. I think. It, it's it's really bad, really yep. bad. So, But I think for Saints fans, like, congrats. Yeah. Congrats, Saints. Hey, if you're a Saints fan, I hope you're in the scarf with the beanie to work today. Like, you guys have the chest out, the shoulders back, walk a bit taller. 106 points. That's really good. I know you're trying to wind me up. No, that's really but good. But it was good. Oh, you weren't boring. No. That's really good. You had, you had these things like handball chains. You were hitting 45s. Like, really cool. Well done, guys. <laughs> Thank you. That's Dan. fun. What was your takeaway before I dive deeper into mine? Oh, I loved it. I had I, I had so much fun. We I went to a St Kilda watch along party mm. at the Bentley Social. It went off. Yeah. Chance Jack Higgins was a freak. Yeah. Loved what he was doing. Oh, it just it was it was good Saints footy. It was really good. And no one walked away from that. Like, you it is difficult to win at the Gabba. It just is. It I mean, is. I know that you guys can do it. Mm. Some teams can. But you you're sort of forgiven for not being able to do it. So It was good. You know. Yeah. It was good. See Ross the boss after the game saying he was going to go home and light some candles and have a cake for the score. No, I missed that. Yeah. He said that. I think he's just taking the piss in. That's pretty now. funny. It is very funny. But do you want a bit more from your coach other than like taking the piss out of everything? Do you want him to be like, hey, I'd rather us just fucking win a game of football other than. Oh, he still pretty much does that. Do you remember not long ago when he walked into a press conference and there was only one journo there? Oh, <laughs> no. That, went, that journo's worst nightmare. He's, I think he said something like, all right, oh, two people have walked in and only one's walking out. <laughs> yeah, well, geez, fair enough. I think I have something here of him. Do I? Um, no, I must have deleted it. I deleted the clip that we had of him. But yeah, he said something. He did, his press is always a bit weird. But. Um, yeah, look, well done for the Saints. Just couldn't win, which is just really weird because last year, last week you had the lowest score, you win. Yeah. This week you have your highest score and you lose. So hopefully after the buy, you got a buy now. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, now I want to play a game with you. Oh. Who pops into your head first when they've got the ball fifty out anywhere around the arc, and you just know they're going to have a ping and not even look to pass it off? They play for St Kilda. Jeez. So they've marked it around the 50 mark. Could be a tight as angle, could be straight in front. Who do you know who's just like, they're just having a ping no matter what? Well, first of all, just for fun, I'll say pass player Jason Graham. Okay. Always did that. Hmm. So they're a four with this person? Like maybe Jack Higgins? Yeah. Spot on. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be the only one. I Refuses. Think yeah. Guys, if you're a Saints forward and Higgins has the ball anywhere within the 50, anywhere, don't lead. Sorry. It's going over your head. Yep. Like, I rate, I, I rate it, but also it annoys me sometimes. It, it's just like, just give the ball off. Yeah, but you if know, it works. You don't need to kick every goal. Yeah, you can well, give some others some stuff. Give it a good go. Well, true. Your mate Ari Schoenmakers was very good. Oh, the shoe. Yeah, he was in uh, in the stands with you last week. Uh, Asking if you were nervous. Yeah. Did you return the favour? Ask him if he was nervous? No, well, I didn't see him. I, but like next home game though, I'll... It's very good. Good yeah. left leg. 18 touches. Yeah, very good by shoe. leg. Yeah, known for it as well. So he was good. And for Brisbane, let the uh, let the hunt begin. Yeah. They are, they're their things. This is back on track now. Yep. Dane Zorko, 35 years old. And he'll probably be, he'll win their best and fairest. And he could be an old Australian. At 35, one and all Australian as a forward pocket could win it as a back pocket now. He's averaging 26 off halfback. Did you, I've watched a couple of games yeah. in Brizzy. He's unbelievable what he's doing off halfback. That's fair. 
just sort of going under the radar for mine a little little bit. Yeah. But yeah. He's been he's been really, really good. At thirty five years old. That's pretty impressive. But he retired at what, thirty five? Yeah. 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 Yep. So crazy. Crazy, crazy. So uh, Brizzy are just looking more and more like Brizzy. You know, with each round that goes on, they look more and more like yeah. what they did last year. So I mean the question is can they keep this form for another ten weeks? They can't really maybe one or two, but can't afford to drop many. No, here. I don't know. I'd say one. Get, one having, done. Talking yeah. about that ladder. Yeah, <sighs> true. It's hard. Um, Dogs Freo. This is actually a really good game on Saturday Arvo. Dogs absolutely rolled through by 67 points. Now, game five of the NBA finals in 1977, Michael Jordan had a flu. He went on to score 38 points and dragged his team over the line. Round 14 against Freo 2024. Marcus Bonapelli, who didn't train all week, has a flu, has 30 touches, kicks three goals, inspires his team to a 67-point win. And you can forgive Freo for not wanting to touch him just in case it was contagious. Yeah. You know? What he did was unbelievable. He's, he's, he's the number one player in the league to me. Yeah. I know other people have their day cost and their other arguments, but to me, what he does with it and how damaging he is with every touch, he's the number one player that yeah. I, I could put up right now. Yeah, I'd agree. He's pretty amazing. He's unbelievable, So mate. consistent. Unbelievable, consistent, like just an absolute leader, obviously being the captain, and yep. he's going to be hopefully not, but – Maybe most likely the greatest player to never win a Brownlow. Yep, he's going to be the greatest dog. I feel oh, he's that. well on track for that. Yeah, well but on track. Uh, for averaging twenty six, has kicked twenty two goals this year. He's doing it in the midfield, doing it forward when they need it most as well. So the dogs are great. They were great. They walked out of centre bounce like Freya were just ass, just ass water shit, bottom of the barrel stuff. They walked out of centre bounce, kicked seven goals, which is unheard of to kick mm-hmm. seven goals from centre bounce. Mm-hmm. Like that is just crazy numbers. And they came into, into the game, the clear plan to target Luke Ryan, mm-hmm. knowing that he's probably not the best defender. Had a very good year, but he's been a horrible in defense, one-on-one. And they targeted him every time. It was Riley West and it was Lobb and it was Norton, uh, not Norton, and it was Jamara. Yeah. Like it was clearly whoever was on him, they were the man. Yeah. Um, and Lobb still showed us. Got some tricks, Lobb. 19 and three, money, money, money. Love that. I love the money grab celebration. I want players in contract you to start doing that. That would be good. Yeah. But no, I remember the, the Freo fans used to do the claw, like the lob, oh, yeah. lobster. Yeah. Which I liked. Freo with Toro. That was, that was so bad. I was pretty so shocked. So bad. I was yeah, pretty shocked. Yeah, same. Had a buy. Yep. Back of what, 92 points in Alice Springs against yep. Melbourne. I thought they'd come to Melbourne and put up a fight and, and show themselves as real, yep. legit, not contenders even, but just finals. Yep. Just nothing. No, nothing went right for them. Look slow, look so behind. Like, f- f- Bulldogs aren't a fast team. They're fast with ball in their hand, but they're not going to kill you with leg pace. I no. thought Freya would have got them on that, but just nothing. No, but it w- they were back to that saying that we've been using, which is at Marvel, they sco- that when they score, they yeah. score quick. They pile it on. And like you blink. Like yeah. you wouldn't, if you're watching at home, you don't go to the toilet. No, no, no. Like, you'll miss, you'll miss 10 goals. Yeah. Yeah. But Freya was so disappointing. Like, you know, and I said they were boring. Uh, I then took it back after the Melbourne game. Fucking boring as... Didn't even put up a, didn't even fire a shot. Yeah. You know, so real problems in front of goal as well. Yeah. Giant miss, could never miss now, missing everything. Yeah. The big kahuna, <laughs> stubbed, literally kicked the ground when I said shot. They can't kick goals, like nothing, just, I don't know. And still, I'm convinced you have two great rucks, you have no great rucks. Mm. Jackson, they didn't, they didn't work that out. I, I, no matter how well Jackson is up forward, he's a better ruck than he's forward. 100%. It's just not – it's not gelling for mine. Yeah. And you can – you Freo fans and Freo can come out and say it's working. I, like it, the eyes tell me it's not working. Mm. Your results are telling me it's not working within the team together. Can you just for the uni, uninitiated, why is that? Because you're cancelling someone out in a different position essentially or – Why if you have two great rocks, you have none? Yeah. Uh, the... Because it's a bit like the Grundy Gorn thing. Yep. You're robbing yourself in the middle to tr- to not really bring anything better in. Yep. So Gorm was so good in as a ruck by himself because he was there for the whole game and you just knew that the, he was going to wear the other ruckman down and mm-hmm. that it was just going to be a great by Gorn. And then you bring Grundy in and you go, well, okay, that wasn't as good as Gorn. You yeah, know, yeah, we, yeah. We, Gorn was very good. This is now not as good. Now we're getting beaten a little bit. Mm. I think the same thing is for Freo. They go, well, Darcy's okay, but he can't get around the ground, but he's okay with the hitouts. But Jackson can can do that. Mm. And so they're not, they're not really either or. You know, they don't, they don't know which is better from the moment. Yep. This isn't their fault because they have two great rucks. They need to work out which is the best of the team. And I yeah. think it's one ruck. Yep. Um, Richard v. Hawks. Hawks, geez, this thing's getting serious now. Hawks by 48 points. 92,000 rocked up for CJ's 50th. And 
Dusty's 300th, obviously, but the script was always going to have Dusty kicking the first. You know, I felt the ground shake for at home oh, in yeah. Port Melbourne. I was like, what is that thing when that goal went through? Crazy, crazy, crazy. And after that, didn't fire a shot. Nope. Packed up, said, boys, we're done. I do feel I do feel like it was a, just a lot, the build-up. It was a two-week build-up. Yeah. Had the week off in Adelaide. Then the week leading into this week's game. Then Dusty not wanting to do media. It was just a lot. And I think everyone just wanted over and done with. Like, it's just – you spent your tickets early. Speaking of that interview with Jack Revolt after, I just – didn't just like it. Don't Didn't let hit. him do it because he just doesn't. He doesn't want, want to do it. He doesn't want to do it. I mean, the Chinese whisper in um in the interview, we all thought that maybe he'd retire post game. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, and we were kind of looking, and then Jack kind of planned to see. He's like, so what's next after you know you go again? He's like, yeah, we'll have a buy and see what happens. Ooh, I think he sticks out the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does now. So that was a little uh, little thing I took out of it. But Hawks are fun. They were fun. They're still fun. They were fun like six weeks ago, but now it's legit. Yeah, it's really legit. And I went through the list there. They're, they're so young and cool and they're just damaging and they have this core of players who are going to be there for a long time and it's literally a dynasty they're building. Mm-hmm. Sam Mitchell played for one, so he knows how to build it, obviously. He's, he's made cake before. Absolutely. You know, now he wants to make another one. Yep. Newcomb, 22. Um, Day, 23. Josh Weddle, 20. Ginevan, 21. Moore, 24. D'Ambrosio, 21. Warple, 25. Scrimshaw, 25. McDonald, 21. McKenzie, 20. Watson, 19. CJ, 25. Kasha Deer has the best name in the AFL. He's 18 years old. That is scary mm. for the next five years. That's so young. Young, young, young. Young and putting together already. Yeah. Admittedly against Richmond, who was 17th, but it's just the way they've been going for the last six weeks. Got to do you it. Can't, you can't – the evidence they've given you and they're giving us now is that they are the real deal. Yep. And I'm not saying they'll win a – I don't think they'll win a flag. I don't think – I mean, finals are still 50-50, but they're going to hurt some teams going forward. Mm. It's like it's not now – early in the year was like, a, okay, we'll beat them and yeah. you know, how much by. It's like, okay, no, this is a game now. Absolutely. No, it was funny. But it now it's like – Now well, it's this, like, this okay, well, maybe they're very happy at Hawthorne. Yeah. It's a bit scary now. We're, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so they'll, they'll keep rolling. I think they're going to buy this week, but that's they're, they're a legit, legit team that's coming. Yeah. Adelaide v Swans. Swans by 42 points, and they only play the second half, which is crazy. Adelaide, what are we doing, Adelaide? What is happening in the state of Adelaide? Football has been just horrible in Adelaide. Well, you know, go on, get no, them. No, 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 no. You can tell them, mate. <laughs> no, no, no. Adelaide, because you, no, you no, think no. everyone in Adelaide should go to the toilet. I was just going to pick on you for something, but then I felt bad. What was it? Well, you said the state of Adelaide. <laughs> oh. In the city of South Australia. City of South uh, The whole state's pretty bad. Yeah. The- oh, I no, wouldn't of say football, that. Of football. I ability. wouldn't say that. Yeah, no. It's not they're not great. So they're leaving this game. It's just a mess. At the 16th minute mark of the third quarter, they're winning. And then Sydney piles on 10. And yeah. you go, what? Just horrible. And they won't sack Knicks. Like they, everyone who's calling for Knicks, they're not going to do that, guys. That's why, not, why not? But what that just looks the that makes the club look absolutely embarrassing. Yeah. They're going to stick by their their word. They're going to stick by their man. The board won't do it because if yeah. there'd be so many questions that come out of that. I just don't know what you get out of sacking Knicks yeah. right now. Even when it's the correct you just, decision, you, yeah. it comes across like panic You just stations. don't. They, have an, I think he truly has another year. I know he signed a big contract. I think he has yeah. another year to prove himself. They have yeah. another year like this next year. Then you start going, well, maybe the best thing is to move off this thing. Yeah. But they're just not going to. I think they have to have some beers in the bar together. Yep. Like really get down to Ed Kerno's farm and yep. ask some questions about what's going on here. Be honest about Tex. I think you say, Tex, you've been so good for the footy club, but we need to go forward. Like we... Mm-hmm. We have to go on without you. Yeah. You can't play point. to your 50. We have to go on. Um, you have to have a chat with Shelly. Yeah. Again, and say, be honest with us. Do you want to play here? And if you want to play here, do you want to put your body on the line? Yeah. He had another incident, yeah. which is unfair because I feel like it's becoming in his DNA, rightly, wrongly, but we're picking up on it. He'd won the last quarter, 10 seconds to go. Yeah. Just a little arm, um, no body, which everyone picked up on. So I think you have a real, do you want to play for us from the first minute to the 120th? Yep. If you do, we'll love you. Uh, Riley O'Brien needs to be the number one ruck. We love Strawny. Mm. The experiment's over. It was it fun. Was fun. I it enjoyed was it. Fun. It was fun. It was cool. Strawny was out there. It looked like a plumber that just rolled in to Mawson Lakes. Yep. It's just like, but he's not going to be the guy. He was serving up a thick slice of Strawn Lover yeah. and then just not so much after just, that. Just not. But we love you, Strawn. Keep battling away, mate. Keep winning um, Best and Ferris in the yep. Sandful. Yeah. You know, and maybe he'd be great for culture. I have no doubt he'd be great for culture. I can't imagine you'd be the Joker in the pack. It reminds me of like Barney Gumble. I think you speak like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Um, and then I think the, the last thing is just build that forward line around Rankin. Yeah. Go and find pieces. Get Riley Thilthorpe back. Yep. Build some pieces around those two going forward. They need something. It's not dynamic. 
No. At all. Rankin's the only real spark up there. Ben Keyes has been an absolute warrior, but Ben Keyes isn't winning a game for you as much as we love him. The others aren't winning. Rochelle hasn't kicked a bad goal since his debut. Yeah. So they go into the bye week and, and what I'm get, gathering from you, it's the week of the chat. Week of the chat, week of the beer. Like everyone needs a chat and a beer. It almost uh, maybe crazy horse. Uh, yeah. Boys, all 40 of us piling a crazy horse, some nachos mm. and some some Ted Airs. Yeah. And just say, let's let's figure this out. Not right now. Yeah. <laughs> Not right now, Crystal. I'm trying to have a <laughs> chat with Tex. Put your top on. Yeah. Not right now. Not right now, Ivy. Some chat with Shelly. You know, that kind of operation. Totally. Yeah. All right. No, I get it. And the Swans, we talked about the Swans, how good they are. They just are, the ability yeah. to do that. Amari kicked nine. Just away from home, I thought they struggle, but they just look they, they look unreal. Yep. They look unreal. So they're going to keep doing their thing, Sydney. Just is what it is with just, them. It is, it, literally, the best way to review yep. it is it is what it is. Yep. Get out the fucking way of it. Yep. It's happening. Did not expect this to be the game of the year. And kids will ask us, where were you when North played Collingwood in round 14 in 2024? And I'll say, I was there. Not there at the game. But I was I was watching it on TV. Where were you? I was in Shoreham for lunch. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. and his mum's birthday. But absolute unbelievable game. 37 goals kicked. The most points scored at Marvel since 2017. Colin would come from the fucking clouds to win this game. And mark of the year? Yep. Potentially? A couple of times. Yeah, uh, Bobby Hill's one. Everyone's yep. saying that's better. I take in Jamie's. Ooh. So I take in consideration. I take in the occasion. Yeah. Anze Day. I take in... The fact that he jumped over a guy at six eight, yeah, that's fair. And I take in the the situational part of the game. Mm-hmm. Collingwood needed a big mark up forward. It was one v one, like it was pretty much a draw. Yeah. With thereabouts, need a big mark. I take all that into into consideration. And with the Bobby Hill thing, yeah, if I can do it, is it that impressive? Mm. My debut game, you did do it. I don't think I could do the Jamie thing. That's that's impressive. That's a good way of looking at it. If I can do it, if it's, it's impressive. Yeah. That's the way you should look at all mark of the years now, yeah. I reckon. Can Dan do it? Can I do it? And if I can, then maybe not. Yeah. But I, I just think Jamie's is better. Yeah, that's you, fair. You're big on Bobby. I well, can feel I, you're big R. Yeah, I, I, I like Bobby's. I like the occasion. Wow, one. interesting. Yeah. Okay. But Bobby had two. He floated and as well. Sec- yeah. The second one was big, was it? The second one was just brave. Yeah. And yeah, it was going back. Yeah. The first one he floated yeah. and got a little pop from Frampton. Isn't it amazing seeing some players like that that just it defies physics? It's crazy. It We're looks so lucky. Like time slows down. Yeah. And then you, yeah, it's We're it's so incredible. lucky to sit there, you know, all of us up a big piece of shit on the couch, hung over potentially. Yeah. And be able to be like, I'm gonna watch the best humans at this sport float in the air. Lying back. Lying back. Picking a bit of thing out of your belly yeah. button with a beer going, Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, was a, if I could do it was impressive. Uh, yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. We're very, very lucky to be able to watch this sport and have it in our great country. So Northwood just kicking goals from everywhere. Yeah. The first half especially. And then, oh, you know, we go into the game going, this would be a bloodbath. Mm-hmm. Didn't think it'd be North giving the Pies a bloodbath. That caught me totally off guard. Yep. And we just all couldn't believe what we're watching. I think everyone around the league had that. You know when something happens in the league and like everyone's like, whoa. Yeah. That, that was like a wild moment. All the, the, the forums blew up, the socials blew up, like everything melted. So up at 35 a quarter time. Yep. North, up at 48 at halftime, up at 54 points through the third, then stopped, took a massive shit in the bed, lose by a point. Go and get fucked, fellas. Like we, we were all behind you. We were all rooting for you. And you want to go lay a turd like that? And very impressive to do that, like yeah. to, to blow a nine goal lead. It's hard to It's do. actually fucking hard yeah. in a quarter and a half of football. Yeah. Um, if there's any other team that could do it though, so it's kangaroos. Yeah. And you're right. Everyone was behind them. Like we I, I was at the pub them. in Fitzroy watching it and I don't yeah. think there was one actual North Melbourne fan there. Yeah. But everyone was just gutted. Just crazy. Like it was- So many. I mean, we talked yeah. talk about the phrase, the sub was crazy. Like I don't know what Clark I was thinking. No. I actually do not, but they just stopped. They stopped. And you could tell that the pies, once they got a taste of blood, yeah. that kangaroo blood, yeah. the pupils went a bit bigger. Yeah. And they they knew that okay we're on here I when they when they got within stew. when they got within four goals the last yep. that that they knew exactly what was going to happen. They said, "What's that skip?" Yeah, and they went right. Yeah, so what? Well, well, actually, imp- actually, you know, full credit to Paul Collingwood. That's a great effort. Yeah, totally. Like great effort with the squad that they've got at the moment as yeah. well. Very well deserved. As much as it hurts me. And the last game, 
Poor for the Giants. Now, this game deserved to be in the graveyard. This was just a horrible game. Mm-hmm. Giants 9-19 beat Port 6-15. Giants won this game as soon as they went through the banner. Yeah. You see the banner? Yeah, I did. Loved 11 it. years of media scrutiny. You've done it tough. Don't listen to the haters. You're Knuff. Might have been Will with a poem. Yeah. Could have been. Well, Ugly game, guys. If you, uh, you didn't watch it, you can be forgiven. Not much happened here. They both missed so many goals. Port only stayed in the game because Giants literally missed everything that they yeah. tried to put through. It was just a, just a gross game. But the Giants now... A fifth after their whole past six, seven, eight weeks are now fifth and Port find themselves just hanging on for dear life. Blink and you'll miss it. Things Blink change and quickly. It. Blink and you miss it. So um, Port, thank you. We love you. We love you so much. Yeah. We love the Guernseys. We cannot thank you enough. We're going to put these on. I'll put this on. Do they have a game? I think they could buy this week maybe. Let me just check have that. Have a check. But right. if they're playing no. this week, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to wear it with pride. They're playing. They're who they're playing. Brizzy. At Ugh. home. And Adelaide. Adelaide Oval. Yep. I'm going to put it on. Yep. The number five on the back. I'm going to play. I'm going to watch this game with it on mm-hmm. and get behind you guys. And hopefully, our, you know, our vibe that we bring here on the show, we totally. hopefully that's enough to get you guys over the line. Yep. Good luck to you guys. Um, the Giants, keep rolling. Yep. Keep rolling. They'll be happy. They'll be back on the power rankings. They are very big on our power rankings. Love that. They've been flat the last couple of weeks. That being so arse and super arse, but they'll shoot right back up today. Fans probably need a, a bit of a talking to. The attendance did not look great. Let's let's be completely frank. That's saying just shit all. Yeah. I haven't been out If we're there. calling a spade a spade, it's hard to get to and it's just not – it's a bit dead. How far away from just say – I think it's CBD? like 30. Yeah, right. So. Yeah, it's a fizzer. All right, well, shout out to them. Hey, guys, thank you so much. That's the uh, end of our episode. We are doing the Gatorade Team of the Year update on Thursday. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do the socials today. There'll be a story up so you can pick someone else. And good episode from us. Thank you. I fucking feel good, don't you yeah. reckon? I didn't say long so much. Too. How long are we talking? Oh, over an hour and ten. Man, I didn't um, I didn't fuck up my words as much this week. Mm. Been seeing a speech pathologist, that's why. A, a what? Speech pathologist. Uh, oh, oh, right. Mm. Yeah. It's <laughs> but, working. Yeah. No, you're doing really well, mate. I'm actually Thanks. super proud of you. She is. <laughs> is that what they taught you? <laughs> Thank you, mate. Yeah. Hey, we're back. Have a great um, couple of days. We're going to Sydney today. Are you? What are you I going there for? I have to be there. I have to I board my plane in 58 minutes. Right, well, you better get going. Okay, yeah. I'm going there for uh, a cool thing with uh, Sportsbet and oh, State of Origin. Well, I'm part of Sportsbet now. Where's True. My you just cool ask thing? him. Uh, you just have to ask? Just ask all Okay, cool. Okay. Hey, everyone, enjoy your day. Stay safe. Look out if you're a uh, – no, we're thinking of you if you're a North fan. We yep. really are. And a Saints fan, just because. <laughs> Thank you. Ciao. What's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.